Check out this bathing beauty. A little sun can really bring out a glow, don't you think? Oh good! Olivia's joining in on the fun. But unlike Emily, she doesn't look too relaxed. Why won't this darn swim cap stay on my head? Whoopsies. Having a little swim cap trouble, are we? No worries. Here, I'll throw it back over to you. Thanks. Ugh, is this a child size or something? Ugh, come on, just stay on! Alright, I'll give it one more try. Gah! Hey, let me show you a little trick. Fill the swim cap with water like this. Now just drop it right on top of your head, upside down. It totally worked! Teamwork makes the dream work, baby. For many girls, getting ready for the day is a meditative ritual. Don't forget the hairspray. Perfect. Huh? Looks like that metal can left rust stains on your counter. Ugh, why are these stains so stubborn? Man, I just cleaned the bathroom for crying out loud. Nope, that stuff's not going anywhere. What am I gonna do? Oh, hey Bella! Just gotta put my nail polish away. If only I could cover up this rust! Could nail polish work? Let's try it out, shall we? First take some rubbing alcohol and put it onto a cotton swab. Then rub the rust off the can with it. Once you're through doing that, take clear nail polish and paint the bottom ring of the can. Don't be afraid to use plenty of polish. Now when you put cans down in your bathroom, they won't have those nasty rust stains. Finally, you can do your hair without a worry in the world. On hot days like these, it's important to remember to reapply sunscreen. Want some? Oh, so you're just spraying it right on your face, huh? That may be too much. Yeah, try rubbing it in. That should help. Ew. Oh. I'm all about sun protection, but this is a little overboard, don't you think? Okay. All done. Bring it on, son! How do I look? No what? offense, but you look crazy. Next time, use a compact to apply sunscreen. Take the pad out of your compact and spray some sunscreen into the dish. Go ahead and fill the dish up all the way. Put the pad back and pop on the lid. Now you can pop out your compact and apply sunscreen on the go whenever you need it. That's not the most convenient thing ever? I don't know what is. Man, I wish you had showed me that before I put all this on. But the damage has already been done. You'll be rubbing that in till the sun goes down, Emily. Ow! Ugh, Olivia! You totally broke my sandal! What am I supposed to do now? Totally ripped. Um, this may sound weird, but I think I have an idea. Pop off the tab from your soda can and cut a chunk out like this. Stick the strap of the handle into the hole it ripped out of, push it through a bit more than it was before, flip the sandal over and put the soda tab around the base of the strap. See? That strap's not going anywhere. Here you go. Yup, a perfect fit. Wait! That soda was mine! Looks like Emily is shopping this afternoon. Next stop, the taco shop around the corner. Whoa! You had one job, paper bag. Now what am I gonna do with all my stuff? I can stuff these in my shirt, I guess. Wait a second. I have an even better idea! Instead of holding your stuff in your shirt while you're wearing it, just take the darn thing off. Lay the shirt down and tie it closed using the hanging fringe. One strand at a time. If the shirt doesn't have fringe, you can cut some yourself and tie them closed. Finally tied them all. Last thing to do is pop in all your goodies. You can even use the armholes as bag handles. These shirt bags make great beach totes during the summer. 
what a beautiful day. What could possibly go wrong? Okay, first on the to-do list, feed the cat. Check. Get a birthday gift for the bestie. Hmm. Hey, come back here! Ooh! Looks like money, honey. I call dibs. Oh, come on, again? All right, I'm getting tired of putting this thing back every ten minutes. I finally have some time to catch some sun. Just wish it wasn't so windy. <gasps> My hat! Okay, that does it. I've got to figure out how to keep this thing on. Take a bobby pin and stick it through the straw hat, catching some of your hair on the other side. Now do the exact thing on the opposite side. Just make sure you're catching a good amount of hair on the inside of the hat. Now that hat's not going anywhere. All right, wind, bring it on. Hey, girl. So sorry to keep you waiting. Traffic Ouch. was awful. Ugh, that's annoying. Now come on! Just get in there! Why won't this thing stay in my pocket? What's a girl gotta do to enjoy a friggin' soda here? How about my back pocket? Whoopsie! If you're looking for a place to tuck your phone away, we found a great solution. Take a sock like this and stick it just behind your jeans pocket like this. With a needle and thread, sew one side of the sock to the top of the inside of your jeans. But instead of a regular running stitch, wrap each stitch in front of the needle like this. Put the stitch through again to secure the knot. With the needle, flip these loops up so they're no longer laying flat against the fabric. Now pull the string tight so the loops disappear. Pretty cool, huh? Finally, pull the needle through the end of the line one more time and cut it from the inside of the sock. So go ahead and spill that juicy gossip you've been teasing me with all week. Oh, hold on a sec. Okay, let me show you the pictures Amy sent me of her new haircut. You'll die. These are the before pics. And these are the after. Way better, am I right? And once you're done with that phone, you can stick it right back in your pocket. Mia is using an old-school piggy bank to save up for her next big purchase. A brand new car. I wonder how fast she'll come up with enough dough. Let's start things off right with this crisp, new $20 bill. It seems small now, but in a few months, these little contributions will really add up. Wow, look at all that cash! What a beautiful day to check up on my ever-growing piggy bank. Wait a second. Where's my cash? <gasps> no! This can't be happening! Oh man, that was a total nightmare. I can't let anyone steal all my hard-earned money. I've got to find a better hiding spot. Instead of keeping your money in an obvious place like a jar that literally says piggy bank on it, yep, washing machine it is. Instead of a piggy bank, try putting your cash in a baggie like this one. Make sure you close it up tight so that no excess water can get to the money. This way you can tuck it right into the inside of the machine. See? And once it's tucked in there nice and tight, you can go about doing your laundry as usual. Who knew a regular old washing machine could serve as a top secret bank? But don't forget to check on it from time to time to make sure it's safe. See, Mia? That car will be yours in no time. Just don't get tempted to spend the money on anything else. Uh-oh. All right, it's Monday morning. Time to get to work. Ugh, what is that taste in my mouth? Perhaps chowing down on the second helping of garlic chicken last night wasn't the best idea. Looks like a fresh mint is just what the doctor ordered. Whoa! If you share an office with a bunch of mint moochers like Mia here, you know the pain of having to share your stuff. If only there was a way to keep mm -hmm. your mints out of plain sight so no one could steal them from you anymore. Snag an old container like this one and put your mints or gum in there. Next, put the container underneath the plant right there in the pot. Great, that fits perfectly. Put that sucker right back onto your desk and no one will ever know your precious mint stash is hiding in there. In fact, those are so well hidden you may forget they're even hiding in there yourself. But in the meantime, you can enjoy fresh, garlic-free breath any time of the day, moocher-free. Ah, that's so much better. <laughs>